Hello, hello everyone. You're on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. <laughs> All right, today is a crafty collective haul. I have one thing from Walmart. I got some, um, it, it's fine and chunky glitter mixed in with each other. Can you guys see? I've already opened it. Very pretty. I like putting this on stuff, especially when, um, I think in July I'll work on my, um, my winter swap that I'm doing with, um, Mystical Misty one. So I'll use that on that project. And then, um, I have some sprays that I bought from Joann's that I really, really wanted. Okay, so it said that the original price was $11.99, right? But <laughs> I got really giddy over this. Um, one was 40% off because I had a coupon. And then they used they let me use the holiday coupon that they had for Monday at 60% off, right? So yeah, one one came to seven dollars and nineteen cents, and the other one came to four dollars and eighty cents. So I was like, sweet. So I was so so happy. Um, I got these ones. I usually I usually get this brand right here, right? Because it's so just their colors are so dark but vibrant. You know what I mean? And, but these ones were on sale at Joann's, and these are the Tim Holtz. I believe these are Tim Holtz. Yeah. And I think this was part of their Halloween line. But I got it because I don't have, um, like, a dark gray or black. They're calling this a smoky. And then this one's um, like a brown. So cool, cool, cool. So I like, I needed one, just a plain brown one to, to you know, um, dye my papers, to, to uh, distress my papers. And then, I, I'm not so big on this green, but this is for like a Halloween green. But I got this for the purple, the vil villainous potion. I was torn between getting the ink pad that was $13 to this pack of two sprays. And, I don't know, to be honest, I think I use the sprays more than I do the ink pad. Just because I work with a lot of paper and I like to dye my papers, I always, yeah. So here's the green one. It's kind of a neon green. It's a little bright. But it's that type of green that you see in Halloween projects, right? And then this really, really dark, moody purple. Like, love, love, love it. So I'm really happy I got those. At Michael's. No, Joann's. Sorry. <laughs> got that at Joann's. So the glitter was from Walmart. The sprays was from Joann's. Okay. And I do have um, a Michael's order coming in with paper pens that were um, on sale for $5. So, waiting for those to come in this week. Okay, so my next haul is another team or team move order. Team move. So, I'm really excited for this one because... Um, I'm hoping the stand that I ordered for my tablet is going to be a good one and it will work. So I don't have that. So I don't have to use this, um, uh, this easel that kind of restricts the area that I work in here. <laughs> Alright, so I see there's a few boxes inside this one. So let me get them out first here. Mm. 
Okay. Wait. Get the boxes out of the way, and let's show off the tiny little items first. Okay, so this was supposed to be for like na nail art. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the number, but I don't do nail art, but I do use this stuff for, um, yeah. oh, yeah, see, I'm trying to figure out how to open this, and I just made a mess. <laughs> Just made a mess because I opened it upside down. <laughs> it's okay. Let's get them back into their jars here. Oh, before I pour them all back in, all that. Is that pretty? I'm always making tiny little embellishments, so I thought it'd be nice to have some tiny, tiny, tiny sparkles. And these are perfect. Now I'm just trying to get them off my hands. I usually put lotion on my hands before I start videos, just so my hands don't look dry. <laughs> and now, all these tiny little gems are sticking to me. There's some pearls in there, there's some diamonds, some black roses. Pretty cool. And there's some really tiny stuff in there. Maybe I can get my daughter to use some of these on my nails for our for our uh, tea party. We'll see. But there's one. This one was like had like whites, grays, and blacks in it. Okay. And there was one more. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, there it is. This one had like whites, um, purples, and clears in it. There's the number. And I guess they were under the nail, nail bling, or nail gems. Okay. Let's see if I can open this one the right way. And it comes in these cute little plastic containers, so I want to pull one of these roses out. It was these roses that really, really got me. Aren't those just precious? The black one had them too. There's looks like four, four roses in there, but those are just precious. And that, that would go really good on my embellishments. And then I saw, this was also in the nail art, um, leaves. Tiny little leaves. I was so, I was like, oh, those are so precious. The picture does make them look a little bit bigger, but I love, oh, I love the size of them. That is so precious. Let me see if I can get a couple out here. Can you see that? <laughs> and so I got a dark orange, a light orange, um, like a gold, and maybe a, no, that's more like a yellow, and then a very light gold, and then a red and a green. And it comes in this plastic container. See if I can. Oh, there you go. You can see them better from the the back. So once I use them all up, I mean these would be perfect for shakers, which I do want to make a few this in fall. Okay, so let's put all these packets down here. And I ordered some two-sided tape. I think I ordered five rolls. Just because I wanted to see if it might be better than Dollar Tree. We're not sure yet. We'll, we'll find out. But I got 
One, two, three, four. There's only four here. I'm missing. Okay, five. I got five rolls, and I believe I got five rolls for dollar forty-nine or something like that. So, and then at Dollar Tree, you only get one roll for a dollar twenty-five. So, we'll see. I will let you know how well those work. Okay. And then I got some gems. Got these orange ones for Halloween. Um, these green ones mainly for Christmas. I got some red ones too. Uh, these ones are all in one size and these ones are in three different sizes, I think. Maybe four different sizes there. What do you guys think? I got some gems, got some clear, and a lot of these were like 97 cents, I think, so they were under a dollar for most of those. Got a little pearl right there. And then, let's see, got some, these are bigger than I thought they would be, but I think they will still work. Like I said, I have a winter project that I'll start on in July. Okay, should I get a free one? I, I think I got an extra one. Cause that... It's a layering piece though, so you layer like... Okay, so I think this is the back piece. And then this was would go over the top of it and then over the top of it it's pretty cool i'll i'll test them out and show you guys it's really really cool and the product number is that? and then this next one is really really cute it's gnomes let's see if i can find the product number And it comes with a die set. So, let me see if I can open these. Okay. So I don't know, you can't quite see, but this one is holding uh, like a coffee cup and it says hot cocoa and it's got like foam and then candy canes and he's got candy canes in his hat. And then this one, this gnome is inside the hot cocoa cup. And then this one is a hot cocoa cup. <laughs> and it, it cuts them out. So I got... So that's going to be really cute. I think I'm going to do my um, my three and the third. The open collaboration with um, Wandering Dreamer 555. Um, the three on the third cards. I think I'm going to use that one. <laughs> and then I think this one might be... Tim Holtz die. It might even be a knockoff, which I, I'm not sure. Usually when I run the dies through, I can tell right away that. But it's a lantern, two two lanterns, some candlesticks, and then the drippies, and then the candle flames. It's like it's really cool. I'll play around with those later. And then for the boxes, let's see, this one got kind of squished. I think this one, yeah, okay, this one was supposed to be my ringlet light. So we'll see how that works. So this is going to clip onto my device right over the camera part. So the camera will sit right there and this will be lit up and making like everything brighter down here so you guys can see better and so my husband's gonna have to help me out with that one because I don't know I don't know anything about the technology stuff <laughs> I barely get my videos filmed and uploaded <laughs> and then this next one okay so this one is a wasn't sure if this little light was gonna work for me so I ordered this I ordered this 
for this light. But it came with a phone stand. So I thought that was really cool. Again, um, I will let you know how well these work. My husband's going to have to help me figure them out. But I will open the box and let you guys see. I'm trying, the more followers I get, I try really hard to improve my videos and my lighting just so people are more willing to watch them. I can't even get it open now. Okay. That's heavy. That's heavy duty. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool. And it's got settings. Yeah, I mainly wanted it just for the light. And you can, like, move it and stuff. Bend it. So that's going to be super cool. <laughs> I'm really excited. Hopefully my husband will help me set it all set it all up today. And then I can't remember what this box was. Let's see here. Okay, this one was the stand that I wanted for my tablet. So it like well that's called cool. spring loaded, so it will hold my tablet over the table so I don't have to deal with these three legs getting in my way. And then it has this it has this stand here. Okay. Oh, that is tough. Wow. So it's like really tough. But it will clamp onto my desk. Clamp onto my desk and hold my tablet. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna have to have my husband put it on though. It's very stiff. Right, so like it opens up and it will clamp onto my desk, and then I can wiggle it over in a position I want it in. And this will attach to it and stuff. So yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> I think tomorrow's video will be testing out the lighting. And you guys can let me know how that went. <laughs> okay, so that was it for um, Timo. And now I have a new... I have a new company... And it doesn't say on my package. I probably should have wrote it down before starting the video. <laughs> but here's another package from a different company. And I think this came out of state too. Or out of country. This came this was another company from out of country. And they had a lot of stuff like really cheap. Kind of like Timu. is just telling me what I ordered. Yeah, this is just what I ordered. Um, let's see here. Does it have the name on there? No, the company's name's not on there either. Okay. Alright, I'm going to open this first. Open the small stuff first. I think these were some more dies. I don't have a whole lot of dies, and so I was trying to find some small dies that I can add to my collection. 
are really, really cheap. When I place an order with a new company, I try my hardest not to go over 20 bucks because I'm so cheap. <laughs> okay, so this one is really adorable. Um, this is a ladder. Can you guys see? It's a ladder here. And it has um, a birdhouse. There's a little bird. There's a layering piece for a bird. Some grass. There was a cat. Um, there's two different size pots with... Oh, here's another pot. So one, two, three. Three pots. And some, like, um, herbs or bushes here that you can put in the pot. I mean, it's it's supposed to be a lot of layering pieces and then flowers so you can make flowers coming out of the pot. Some potting tools and some books and they're supposed to be able to fit on the shelves. It, it's really cute. I'm going to make like a, a thank you card using this guy. And then there, this was similar. This one I'm going to open up because it looks like there's an extra in there. Okay, so this one... Um, okay, so I didn't see this. I think... I think this is supposed to make a page. That's kind of cool. Um, but this is supposed to be like, um, what is that called? Macrame plant holder here. And then here's the plant. Here's a stool and some potters. Here's some more hanging pot holder here. And then the plants and some flowers. Really cute. I think I'll make another card out of that one too. And then this might be extra. Because it wasn't in with the set, but that's cute. Really, really cute. So I'm happy with that. And then um, because I am going to do my Christmas swap stuff in July, you know, because everybody does Christmas in July, right? I got some ribbons here. And they're more like a fabric ribbon. I think I might even do a, just a plain, not a junk journal, but a plain journal. For, and then this will be my closure on it. But they're all slightly different. Very similar though, but they all have a different pattern on them. They kind of remind me the um, the Christmas PJs that my mom used to get my brother and I. <laughs> Sometimes looked and felt felt like this. You guys see the this one has a little bit of silver tinsel in it or something. very they're very very similar I wonder if they're just part of the same piece of fabric cut up in different sections so I like it I'm not overly impressed with it because they're so so similar the website made them look different and the website made them look like they were different sizes too um, I do like it. I will use it, but I don't think I will buy it again. So, I might even put some of this in some happy mail so I don't have to hang on to it as long. <laughs> More likely, if I'm okay with, with something but not overly impressed, I don't tend to gravitate towards it when I'm crafting. I think this one might be my favorite one. I like the the slight gold tinsel throughout it. 
and I like the red and green together. A lot of these don't have the red and green. And I see when I tend to do holiday stuff, I don't like the yellow or the blue. Yellow and blue in with Christmas stuff. So I think this one might be my favorite right here. Okay, so that one's okay. It's thick. I mean, it will definitely work with what I'm going to use it for. And then I think, oh, this was one of the things I really fell in love with. Uh, I got this star trim in gold and silver. Ugh. This would be really good for my holiday swap too. I can even put a little bit of this in with my um, fall swap too. It's like a little gift. Wrap some up before. But I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so it doesn't say prices on here too. But these were all very cheap. Yeah. I do have the code numbers though. So um, here's one of those plant dies. And then this one's the other plant die. And then this is the star trim item number. And then that Christmas trim number here and um, I will find out the company name for you if you're curious about because I know a lot of you will love this stuff and so if you're curious on where I got it I will find the company name and maybe even find the link to this so you can go straight to it and get it if you want because look how much and it was pretty cheap I want to say it was under five bucks for the set. So, alrighty, that's all I have for you today. I mean, I will have more to share with you sometime this week because I have two Etsy purchases to share with you and one Michaels that have the paper pads that I got online for only five bucks each. And I think that should be it. So, yeah. Alrighty. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful day. Bye.